Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. This video is about Venus in Sagittarius. Venus in Sagittarius people really, really appreciate their freedom and their ability to explore and turn over every rock for a deeper understanding and meaning. So Venus is the planet of love, marriage, beauty, romance, money, inspiration, gratitude, just to name a few. Sagittarius is ruled by the ninth house and the planet Jupiter. Sagittarius basically talks about philosophy, higher learning. It talks about overseas travels where Gemini, the opposition, had, talks about like, you know, our community, the people that we grew up with, that we went to school with, our, na our neighbors, our cousins, you know, family members, basically people that we didn't choose. Where Sagittarius talks about, you know, like going to college, you know, um, other people's cultures and races and different things like that. So Sagittarius learns more about itself by exploring things that are different from itself. Where Gemini has to do with, you know, just random surface conversation, small talk, Sagittarian energy is all about philosophy and a deeper meaning and understanding to life itself, religion, culture, and different things like that. So with Venus in Sagittarius, you may find that you really value education and college. You might find that, you know, you add value to yourself by going to college where, you know, say, for example, like my mom who has Sagittarius in the 10th house, I encourage her to be a college professor. That way she can be a part of school for the rest of her life which of course she'll probably still be going back, but at least she'll be a part of school for the rest of her life because she really appreciates that higher learning. And with Venus and Sagittarius, you might find that you appreciate that higher learning. You appreciate learning about other people's cultures, other races, and just anything that is unfamiliar, anything that is different from what you grew up learning about or knowing about because Sagittarius energy gets bored real easily and it is inspired through learning about things that is completely different from itself and with Jupiter being the ruler Jupiter to me is like a magnifying glass a magnifying glass that represents basically yeah it's a magnifying glass and Sagittarius bow and arrow, the bow, the arrow is the attention. So wherever that arrow lands, the magnifying glass amplifies it and you're able to see it on a deeper level. So you guys value just like knowledge and learning new things and just getting deep into that knowledge. You might find that with this placement, it's like you're a natural philosopher. You tend to just have a deeper understanding when it comes to religion or spirituality or just culture or whatever that's happening in the world. It's like you may see what's happening and you naturally go and do your research and just have a higher understanding of what's happening. And what might be challenging with this placement is that it's like it might be hard to speak to some people or most people. Because, of course, where your Mercury is will play an important part because Mercury shows like the kind of information that we naturally gravitate towards. But with this Venus in Sagittarius is like you value higher learning, you value deep conversations, you value information that has substance, like all of those things are extremely important to you. They say that in a man's chart, um, Venus shows the kind of partner he will marry or the val or what he values within his partner. So with that being said, with Venus and Sagittarius, you value someone who is educated and it could be scholastically educated or self-taught, but you value someone who is educated. You value someone who can add value to your life based on what they know, what they've researched. 
you value people who are free thinkers, people who don't who don't waste their time gossiping and wasting energy on low-minded kind of talk. You value people who get deep into other people's cultures and other way of doing things. So this might be someone that just knows a little bit about everything. Like you really, really value that. With Venus in Sagittarius, you may value taking trips. You know, you might be someone who travels a lot or who plans on traveling a lot and 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 enjoying those cultures you might value value like eating exotic foods and eating foods that like say in your household or in, in your community the people that you grew up with or the people that you you know your your brothers sisters mother whoever like they themselves might not be able to relate to like the kind of foods that you gravitate towards the kind of art that you gravitate towards the way you might carry yourself or dress like might be so different compared to what you grow up knowing. It's like your whole style presentation and just overall values are just so untraditional. You know, you appreciate other cultures and ways of doing things. And from other cultures, ways of doing things, you learn things about yourself and add value to yourself that way what you might find balance in you may find balance in um learning basically you may find balance in exploring exploring um even if it's not other cultures far other cultures overseas or whatnot <clears throat> on a stressful day you might find balance in getting in your car and just driving off into some random neighborhood or community where you've never been that might have a scenic route to it and just explore. Or you might find balance um, taking a road trip and exploring the history and different um, things having to do with your state or your city that you live in. Like those things may bring you balance. Whenever you're stressed out or overwhelmed with life itself, it might be time to take a trip. When it comes to getting married, you know, you might find that the kind of partner that you marry, that you're attracted to, is someone who is different from you, different from what you know growing up. And I find the only time that this might not be the case is if you're, if Sagittarius is in the ninth house. Because if Sagittarius is in the ninth house for you, then that means the arrow, which is your attention, is pointed to the third house. So then that will mean that basically that's where your attention and focus is on. So you might feel safer with focusing on your community, um, your own race, your own, you know, the things that you grew up seeing. Like those are the things that you may bring your attention to if Sagittarius is in the ninth house. But wherever Sagittarius is in your chart, Pay attention to the opposition because the arrow, like I said, is never pointed towards you, it's pointed away from you. So whatever house, which is Gemini house, basically whatever house that Gemini is in and that sign, basically that's where your attention will go with Venus in Sagittarius. And with all that being said, now me thinking about that part of it, you might not be completely as deep as I said, you know, you might also find that you also appreciate the small talk and um, the small talk in your own community. But I feel like that's mainly if Venus is in Sagittarius in the ninth house, but just Venus in uh, Sagittarius by itself Yes, you appreciate all Sagittarian type things, all Sagittarian type energy. When it comes to your money, you'll find that you might spend your money on your education. You might spend your money on higher learning. You might spend your money on adding value to yourself through your education or through your travel. You might be someone that always has a trip planned. You're always going somewhere. 
you know so that's where a lot of your money will go your money will go to donations or just you know college funds for other people you'll be so quick to support someone educating themselves and maybe it's not college but some form of a certificate program or some kind of education but one adding value to themselves through education is something that you really appreciate when it comes to beauty when it comes to venus and sagittarius you may find that your style is completely different from everyone else who's around you not like aquarius who will rebel for the sake of rebelling and have a totally unorthodox type of style for the sake of having it which is more for attention even though aquarians don't care for attention they do but they don't that's a different video we're focusing on sag you might find that when it comes to beauty and appearance your style might reflect the culture different from yours that you admire that you've been studying that you've been looking into it's like naturally you become that and in the process of learning about that culture you learn about yourself Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video if you think someone might be interested in it. Um, I look so forward to seeing you in the next video.